What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today is the day that the long-awaited Warzone Battle Royale officially releases, so I want to go over a couple of tips and things to know when you first play the Battle Royale. Let's check it out. So guys, you may notice a couple of these features that are simple yet maybe easy to miss. For example, the first one, which is the hit marker indicators. The first icon you see means that your bullets are hitting the enemy's armor, and that's noted by the fully intact bullet vest. Now, when you've broken the enemy's armor, the bullet vest indicator has a bunch of cracks going along it, so that means the enemy is now without armor. And then when you've downed the enemy, you just see the plain hit marker followed by the plus 50 XP down message. Absolutely absolutely amazing mechanic for communication with your teammates because you can just call out if the enemy's armor is broken or if they're down etc. Next up I like to mention the craziness of how good UAVs are and the mini maps in Warzone. Now UAVs last for 30 seconds which is a really decent amount of time to reveal what is around your surroundings. Now yeah you can shoot the thing down with a rocket launcher or um, team shoot it out of the sky but at the same time you got to consider that you are letting players know where you're exactly exact location is and also you will show up on the mini map too so now you really have to be mindful of long range gun fights and uh, you also want to make sure that you um, just use those bullets wisely because you can get into a gunfight and then possibly risk the chance of you getting flanked by another team so if you are going to be shooting a weapon without suppressor you're going to show up on the mini map even if a UAV is not active next up guys you can also switch to a third person view or activate the free look whenever you are landing to see the air areas around you and just really understand which areas are going to have more people landing and you can also tell which areas um, are what because they have the name above them which is a very very awesome mechanic. Also guys there are execution animations for the players who are downed or need to be revived. I did make a video showcasing all of those animations if you want to check that out. So same thing like in multiplayer you just simply hold the melee button and you will activate that finishing animation. Another thing if there is a chest around you or in the same building as you're in then you can hear the shining kind of glowing noise so that tells you hey there's a chest nearby I'm gonna go look for that and whatnot so um, definitely be on the lookout for that sound I'm gonna play it for you guys right now Now one thing you may notice is there is no backpack or loot management in Warzone. You simply just carry all of your armor plates, ammo, etc. It's all going to be on your user interface. There's a slot for, you know, your tacticals, your lethals, etc. And you never ever have to worry about dropping a really good item for something else and taking sometimes up to a minute to figure out what you want to carry and within that time you can possibly risk getting shot from behind or sniped. So it definitely does add more of a focus onto winning the game by gunfights and instead of, you know, just pure RNG base. Also guys, you may also notice that you can um, shout out to your teammates, hey, I need this armor or I need um, this type of ammo. And the way you do that is by accessing your drop menu, which is used with the D-pad. And you can either, like I said, request an item or drop a stack of something to your teammates. And then you can follow that by pinging it to let them know where the exact location is. Use that ping system, guys. It's very, very useful. Also guys, you may notice there are no more bandages or health kits your health is going to regenerate over a period of time and yeah again same thing there's less of a focus on having the proper healing items and more of a focus on the gunfights everybody's going to start out with a base hp of 100 and a max hp of 150 with each armor plate giving you 50 hp and again really love how the focus of this battle royale is on the skill and gunfights more than the loot you carry and then lastly i want to just go over in order for the weapon rarities in war Warzone Battle Royale because some people may get a bit confused by it so it starts out as common rare and then a legendary so any weapon that is the legendary then it's going to be the best weapon in the game so definitely do pick that up if you see it so um, those are some quick little tips slash things you may not know about Warzone Battle Royale if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like and it's here it's finally here guys been having um, some really fun playing it but um, definitely there are some complaints in my opinion so uh, I'm going to be coming out with a video about that later on this week for sure and also if there's anything else you'd like me to cover then please tell me down below in the comments guys love you all so so much thanks for watching till next time i'll see you guys later